Hi, my name is Justin, and I'm here to introduce you to the SR20HD Direct Streaming AV Mixer. Powerful, portable, and simple to operate, the SR20HD makes it easy to manage the modern live streaming requirements of your business or organization. No computer is required, and everything you need is integrated into a single unit that anyone can use with minimal training, whether it's switching and streaming, audio mixing, SD card recording and playback, or direct streaming output. Let's start with the SR20HD's video switcher. It has two HDMI inputs to simply connect your cameras and or laptops. And these multi-format inputs automatically adjust the sources to match the SR20HD's output. On this side of the SR20HD are controls for operating the video switcher. You can switch between sources by pressing the HDMI in one and two buttons, and they will appear on your stream, recording, and HDMI output. And if you prefer to preview an input before showing it, there's a setting for that. Simply turn off Program Direct, and you can preview a source before your audience sees it. The HDMI output is an easy way to display your content on a large TV or projector. Once connected, your audience will see your production in real time. And the preview output is a copy of the LCD screen's multi-view, which is helpful if you want to work with a larger screen. If you find you're too focused with presenting during your production to switch between inputs, auto-switching is there to take over when you need it. Simply choose which video sources you want to cycle through in order or at random with individual timings available for each one. You can also use Video Follows Audio mode, which basically lets the microphones do the switching for you. You can choose any two audio sources to control any video input or scene layout. Once configured, press the auto switching button and let the SR20HD handle the switching while you work on other things. Audio can come from any of 10 sources with the SR20HD, including four dedicated microphone inputs. These are combo inputs, so you can use either an XLR or quarter inch connector with them. You can also enhance your sound with equalizers for tone shaping, compressors to bring quieter and louder sounds closer together, and noise gates to remove hiss from quiet moments, all helping you dial in professional quality sound. And if you're not sure which settings to choose for your microphones, start with the presets and adjust from there. If you're connecting an external audio console instead of microphones, you can use either the combo or RCA inputs. The other audio sources are your HDMI inputs. Each of these can carry audio and have a fader on the mixer to control their levels. The audio function buttons give you easy access to the audio settings you need most, like your microphone settings in auto mixing mode, saving you time, and you can customize them however you like using the menu. The five scene buttons can output various layouts of two sources at the same time, like picture in picture. You can change which inputs are the background and foreground using the menu, as well as adjust the size and shape of the foreground window. You can also customize these buttons with different layouts and functions. The other two layouts are split mode, which splits the screen between two inputs, and picture by picture, which places two inputs side by side without any cropping. Scenes can also be a part of auto switching mode. They're treated like an input source on the list. The assignable video functions include capturing a still image from your video output, cycling through imported still images, playing video clips, and more, giving you easy access to settings that speed up your workflow. The keyer on the SR20HD can be used for either graphic overlays or green screen productions. Simply choose your source and the color you want to remove, and once you press the key button, it creates the overlay. With a wired network connection, the SR20HD automatically connects to your internet router and receives an IP address, making setup easy. Streaming without a computer has several benefits. Most importantly, it simplifies the workflow with a single piece of hardware, eliminating the need for streaming software. It's also useful in environments like schools and offices with a lot of network security restrictions. And Roland makes it easy to deploy multiple units with tools to export and import your settings to other SR20HDs. When you set up a service in the stream menu, you can log directly into Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch using your account information, or set up a custom stream, which uses an RTMP URL and stream key from any platform. The Use Web App setting gives you a short URL to type into any web browser and enter your stream settings, saving you time. You can also use a USB keyboard. The video bitrate setting determines the quality of your live stream, and the SR20HD takes this a step further by using an adaptive bitrate, which automatically adjusts itself during your production. If your internet connection is suddenly slow, the SR20HD will temporarily reduce the bitrate to compensate, preventing the stream from pausing or skipping. Another way to conserve bandwidth is by adjusting the separate bitrate setting for audio. 
But if you happen to lose your internet connection, the SR20 HD can automatically switch to tethering mode using data from a phone or hotspot connected with the USB cable, giving you peace of mind when producing content for clients. You can also record with the SR20 HD directly to an SD card, even if you're not streaming. It will create an MP4 file recording of your audio and video using the stream bitrate. And if you want an additional copy of just the audio, you can create a WAV file in addition to the MP4. This is helpful if you're streaming a podcast and want an audio only version for upload. Once you're ready to stream and record, the function knobs give you quick access to starting, pausing, and stopping the stream and recording. You can import up to eight still images from a USB flash drive, as well as a safety still image. Images are stored on the SD card and assigned to the still one and two buttons. And you can assign the video function buttons to easily cycle through your images during production. During your stream, if something unexpected happens that you don't want your audience to see, you can quickly display a safety still image assigned to a video function button. This is used in combination with the stream delay setting, giving you time to interrupt the stream with the safety still image. Once things are back to normal, you can resume your stream with the delay intact. In addition to still images, you can import video and audio clips from a USB flash drive, storing up to eight of each on the SD card. You can play video clips using either the still one button or one or more of the video function buttons, and the audio clips are played using the audio function buttons. Also, when you start or pause the stream, you can play an audio clip, switch to an input or scene, and turn the key or on or off, helping automate your production. The SR20 HD is a powerful all-in-one solution, ideal for a wide range of enterprise applications with everything you need to switch, mix, record, and stream with confidence. Thank you for watching, and for more information, please visit proav.roland.com.